We'll see if there's any cheese. Probably not. No probe setting out for that guy. That guy is known among his friends and fans and relatives as... Enes Hoso Bonbons. Maybe not his relatives. Yep, he goes to Thanksgiving and his mom's like, Oh, Bonbon Neo Hoso. New star Hoso Bonbon, you're here. Have some mashed potatoes. Yep, that's right. Here is another player. MVP King. It's like the most generic intro you could ever do. Here's another player. There he is. Well, short shot of Keen. Thanks to LG, Intel, and G Skill. So, uh, same positions on Terminus for this game that we saw in our last game on Terminus. Isn't that fascinating? That's a little bit fascinating. That's right. So, advantages do go a little bit to Keen. Again, you know, because it is so much easier to drop yeah. the expos of your opponent on this base. Yeah, this would be really good if he decided to go for some drops. Yep. Um, he's again going to build his barracks kind of out in the open and, and not wall off with his racks. That's right. And usually when you see a player do that too, that uh, I suppose that could be an indicator that they are going to be going for a good amount of bio in the early game. And especially something yeah. like Concussive Show, because you're not so worried about units getting, the early Protoss units getting into your base, if you're going to have those units to defend against it. So as a Protoss player, when you see that, it's not a sure thing, but you may kind of want to think to yourself, hmm, well, you know. We also did see him last time, last game he did. They went for the racks in that position, and then built yeah. depots at his ramp to wall off. So he still wanted that wall, but maybe didn't want his racks to be in danger. It sucks when your racks is part of your wall and the Void Ray comes in and you can't produce yep. units because you have to worry about them, you know. Nobody wants to train in a building that's on fire. Except for firefighters. Oh, that's, that's they, true. They, they, they kind of have to. to. Yeah, if they don't train in a building that's on fire, that's not very good training at all. <laughs> they just go into a regular building. They're like, everything's fine here. Training over. What is that? Sorry, I'm looking at the little computer. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know. It's I like get, a hologram. I get distracted easily. Rebels are gathering around that, and they're like, we have to attack the Death Star here. It look, cause it, oh, it's like a little uh, Two 3D gas. diagram of the circle that pops up. Right. Two gas for uh, Bon Bon right now. Interesting. Expo going up for Keen, so he will be doing that one Rax expand. No gas yet, so he's going to be relying on some Marines early in the game. And that's perfectly fine. He is getting a bunker as well. Very, very slim chance that you will see a Zealot show up on your base on this map at this stage in the game. Yeah. That's a smart move to make, especially because uh, Protoss do like to put on pressure early with a stalker or something, and it looks like this Marine, um, SCV rather, is not... Oh, is it going to get oh. in? Guess no. not, no. Doesn't even try and juke wow. around to get up the ramp. He's going to die. Dies. Wow, that oh, SCV. Oh, man. He was not paying attention in scouting school. Useless. Nope. Useless yep. SCV. And uh, three racks going up for Keen, and there's a fast robo from Bonbon, bon. so the question is, is he going to expand behind this because he, he has not done it yet, obviously. Not saving up for it. I'd be very surprised if he did go some sort of one base Colossus attack on Terminus. That'd be very uh, odd. That'd be pretty strange. He's probably just yeah. going to use it to get a Robo, I'm sorry, get an Observer. And then, yeah, there's the second gate after Robo. So this is kind third of a normal gate. build that we see. A third gate as well. So you get the Observer out and then if you spot that there's nothing to worry about, you can expand, and if you spot that there's something to worry about, you've got the production facilities to do something about it. And Bon Bon slipping up a little bit, lets that SCV pass right within vision of the tower without attacking with that stalker. Oh, he's not going to get past those guys, though. And or spots maybe he the is. lack of expansion <laughs> at the very that least. That is a slick SCV. That SCV is covered in butter. And not because it'd be tasty, it's so it can slip away. Oh, never mind. That would be delicious. It's not a slippery. SCV's covered in butter. Yeah, man. It's like crab. You like. Break. You know what? Why do we talk about eating the units so Ke much, Ball Trap? <laughs> Keen, what? Keen what is wrong has, with us? Keen has not seen a single building <laughs> of Bon Bon. For all he knows. That's huge. Oh, a warp those, prism just finishing for Bon Bon. Oh, there we go. Sorry, oh, I hope we see. Yeah. I hope we see some immortal drops. That's right. It doesn't look like it. We certainly cool. could. We can see like speaking a big of beta, time speaking of drop. beta builds. Yeah. Oh man. Mortal drops? That was like the cool thing to do in beta. Yeah. He's actually going to lift up. And... Ah. I don't Sentry know if he saw zealot. that. I don't think Stalker he saw up. that. No, he did see it. His Marines are coming up. He had to control the tower for a moment. Oh, and he brought his Marines bon bon. up. Oh, if he snaps that warp prism out of the air, it'd be huge. He sees the Marines there. He's going to juke around the side instead. But this drop is not oh, going to do as much oh. damage as he hoped. All right. Almost going to fly. And those bunkers oh. and the warp prism. 80 health. Whew. 
It's close. Soccer getting dropped off. He doesn't want any part of that thrill ride anymore. No. He's like, man, get me out of here. Yep. He's like uh, some of the people on that ride at Disneyland, the uh, Tower of Terror. <laughs> the Warp Prism of Terror. The Warp Prism of Terror. He's like a short zealot. They don't let him in the Warp Prism. Sorry, you have to be this tall to ride. <laughs> so sentries so, can't ride anymore. <laughs> that's that's right. That's where they're getting kicked off. They're like, how'd you get on here? You'd slip right out of the warp prism. Yeah. Now, Bon Bon, that warp prism, hopefully he keeps it alive and doesn't just throw it away on something silly. It can be very useful. He's actually using it right now, uh, keeping it kind of like those overlords in the middle of the bases to spot drops. And eventually he'll be able to run it in there, drop it down into phasing mode, warping some zillots in the mineral line. Yep. When he knows that Keen has moved out, it's going to be very, very effective to do that. And actually, whoa, Bon Bon, oh, you can spot on the minimap. On the bon bottom bon. right is... Hiding a third base. Yeah, you kind of see it on the mini map there. That big red dot. It is a base. That's right. So you have an engineering bay finished now for Keen. He's getting his upgrades, getting stim, getting combat shields. And, and there he uh, decides not to actually with that Marauder there. All right. I was getting all excited, but I still am, but not quite as excited because that War Prism didn't actually drop anything. Observer coming out right now. Always is good to have a couple of those. Gonna he's see everything it. that Keen has. Has Keen seen anything really yet? Uh, yes, he, he must have comped out of the main base at some okay. point. Oh, Overlord, uh, over Observer, rather, getting sniped. Yeah, he comps out at um, Bon Bon's base at some point, so he knows where he spawned now, for sure. Didn't spot too much, though, only spotted the Robo, which he, of course, kind of knew about. Now, this hidden base could give Bon Bon, of course, a lot of extra economy, but the problem is it's so far away, he's not really going to be, you know, transferring any probes over to it. He's going to have to try to chrono boost them out on their own there. So it's going to be a little while before it's actually going to pay for itself and become effective. So he's still on two base. I mean, he's definitely not three base quite yet. He can use it, though, to kind of trick Keen into thinking that he's gearing up for some sort of big two base timing attack just to kind of throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to wait and see. And Keen with a very uh, definitive lack of knowledge about what Bon Bon is doing. This might yeah. suspect that. He's actually going to float this factory in. A good move. Going to run around the side. Going to see that there's no third there. And going to look around for some intel. Look around for tech buildings. And I like how he's kind of skirting the side so that if he does get attacked, he's not going to lose the factory. Yep, that factory driver. A lot smarter than uh, most of the factory Pretty drivers we've seen lately. Pretty smart as factory drivers go. But here's yep. the thing. The warp prism decided to leave that area for some reason, scared of the factory. And so this yep. drop is going to come in uncontested. Huh. And Keen's like, huh, there really should be a base here. But all right, whatever. So That's Keen picking strange. up again. Warp prism now on the other side. He's got the marauders with one. And it looks like he's going to drop marines in the back as he runs it with the I Marauders. I think he accidentally picked up all the Marines with one and now he can't hit the Marauders. And the other one, but here come the Marines out of the medevac. They're going to be cleaned oh, up pretty quickly. Oh, he's going to try and snipe the, oh, with the Marauders. Nice shot. Oh, just one more hit left on that Colossus. Does go down. Nice, nice little snipe by King getting one Colossus. Definitely, definitely worth it. Yep, lost a Marauder and four Marines. Not a bad trade. No, not at all. Nice job by Keen getting his third base up and running there. Now, one Colossus down, the other one fearing for its life a little bit. <laughs> it's a little like ear antenna things are kind of sagging, a little bit drooping. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I don't know if Colossi really have Colossus. feelings, but. Probably not. So, right now, the supply definitely favoring Keen. He's uh, 131 over 113. Yeah. So, he's been able to macro up a decent force, he's been able to kind of pick off units here and there. From Bon Bon. Yeah, he does have a pretty significant bio force. And yep. at this point, Bon Bon doesn't really have that many stalkers. He's got a few in the back of his base hiding out, waiting for drops, uh, which is pretty smart. He might want to think about planting some cannons back there so he can get his army with the rest of his base. And he's making a forge. <laughs> factory landed at the third base of Bon Bon. Observer, though, sees that move out from Keen. Silly factory, you're not a base. Now, this map is really difficult to move in on with Bio, just because there's a lot of chokes that sentries yeah. can force field across. Is under attack. Yep. And don't worry at home, your base is not under attack. That was the base of Bonbon. Bon. Or base of Keen, rather. 
Factory getting kind of pounded on a little bit. And a Marine has found the hidden expo. It certainly has. It's starting to pick yep. off some probes, and he's actually sending a force down there to make sure that gets killed off. He's going to warp in a single zealot, and it's probably going to power down that pylon. He's going to stim in there. Let's go for the pylon. Actually, he might just abandon his base. Yep, going to take on the Nexus. So. And that's actually going to put Bonbon bon pretty far behind. He it wasn't is. really able to get that mining too terribly efficiently. Keen yeah. does have his third up. That's looking a lot more secure. Ghost Academy just finishing for Keen as well, so he will be starting to get those ghosts. Getting the EMP going to the factory. Okay, maybe that factory driver that, wasn't as smart as they thought originally. Nexus? Yes, it does. I was, oh, wait. Additional actually, I don't know. Did he manor block his Nexus? I think he might have actually manor blocked his Nexus. Whoops. Yep, he did. The oh, die, Pylon. Snarf. The Pylon was a traitor. It had to pay. I was like, why is he putting that pile in there when he first made it? I was like, I think that blocks. It certainly yep. does. So, um... So Keen looking, so uh, Keen is looking good really right good. Now. Yeah, he's at 185 Whoa. supply to 139 right now. That is a lot of Colossi, though. Five yeah. Colossus with Thermal Lance, about to be plus one weapons upgraded. And that can do fairly well against Bio, although he's got, uh, what is this, 25 Marauders and yeah. a lot of Vikings. So, that's the, I, yeah, I think the army of, of Keen is just way better at this point. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I mean, he's got a ton of Vikings to handle those Colossus. It's super helpful. He's getting three ghosts right now. And 2-2 two -two should be finished by the time he decides to move out. I think that's kind of what he's going to wait for, is around 2-2. Two -two, and then he's going to move out as his uh, fourth base starts to float across the map and uh, head for a mineral line. That'd be a good idea. I think even with some chrono boosting, he's probably going to get Tuto out a little bit before the Protoss player Bonbon. Bon. Yep. Blink will be upgraded at that point in time, but I don't think it'll really help him that much. Um, yeah, a couple of ghosts on the map. But uh, anyway. Oh, that Warp Prism barely, barely getting away from that one Marine. <laughs> Battle of the Century, Marine versus Warp Prism. See that happening? Me neither. Oh, down at the bottom. That. Oh, the Marines chasing it though. Oh, one, two, he get it? one more hit. Oh, sorry. Right. I'm totally reacting to something you guys aren't watching. Trust us, that was exciting. Trust us, sorry it was that. very exciting. And uh, looks like he's gonna move out now. He has three ghosts with EMPs. He, he uh, is gonna have the Mobius reactor pretty soon. This is a huge And he does force. scan. Can he get those? I don't know if he can get those sentries back in the middle of that bulk of army. Though. Uh, if he does, he's gonna get all the Colossi as well, which would be just as good. Or even better, really. Now, Bonbon bon does have his stalkers on another hotkey. So what he can do is A move and then blink them out of the way. He's going to need to do that. Otherwise, the zealots will be stuck behind and their charging will be useless. Yep. A lot of Colossi out right now for Bonbon. Bon. That still is a very scary army for Keen to go up against. And this is it. I mean, whoever really, this is the fight that's going to decide the match. Whoever wins this goes to the up and down matches. Whoever loses is out until next season. Yeah, there comes Vikings, the Vikings coming in, focusing down the Colossi, insta-giving them. Nice concave for Keen right now. The force field's making a little bit of difference. Here come all the soccer's Vikings still taking out a lot of Colossi before they can hit the bio. Great, great engagement for Keen. And it's a perfect amount of Vikings to take them out with not too many left Beautiful. over. The bio charging in, they need to wait for a moment because they're all very low on health. And it's actually, never mind, Bob doesn't, doesn't actually have an army to finish them off. He's warping some in. And Vikings those landing even. Vikings landing. Oh, taking out the pylon. Stopping the upgrade. Take off. Didn't even matter. Vikings attacking Colossi while landed. That's odd. That GG. Kind of odd. GG coming from Bon Bon. There it is. Keen. Wow. Who got pretty much slaughtered in game one. Coming back. Oh, get a, look at that. a couple good timings. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he is uh, going to be a sniper there, sniping <laughs> off Bon Bon. I guess so. Oh, Bon Bon. It's like, I wish I had cool sunglasses like that. Maybe next season. Oh, yeah. Just regular glasses for Bon Bon. Wow, so yeah. very, very nicely played by Keen. And uh, I mean, he really was making sure that his position was secure. Yeah. Right as he was going in for that battle, he actually had two command centers floating off to new bases. So even if he held it off, he'd be okay and he'd be able to have a really superior economy going into the next phase of the game. Bon Bon so, continuing to struggle in TVP, definitely. Yep, he is yeah. now uh, 4 and 15 in Terran versus Terran. Ouch. His, 
His win percentage just went down by a couple percent. But you know what? 25 to like 22 or you something. You know what, though, Moltrap? He'll be back next season in Code A. Yeah. He's not out. No, he's not out. And yep. that means Keen is going to the up and down matches. Remember, this is the round of 16. This is super important for these players to actually have that shot of going to Code S. Yeah. And MVP Keen taking out some some pretty prominent nerds to get into the up and down matches. Definitely. He's going to have his work cut out for him there, though. Um, yeah. We do have a couple more players that uh, have really been showing some decent skills. Koka, yeah. the Zerg player from Zenex. He played really well last played week. Played really well yeah. last week. And Nobles, another MVP Terran, mm -hmm. is also going to be playing. They're Formerly be cute for you. Coincidentally, they're going to be playing against each other. Not yeah. just not just playing at the same time against different <laughs> opponents. Sorry, they're both playing Star Jewel, and we'll just watch <laughs> each of their screens. Exactly. Non-competitive. Yeah, we're gonna match them up against a couple insane AIs. See how they do. They're like, we don't want anyone to be eliminated. Yep. Let's both just be friends. And you know what though? There's no participation ribbons in the GSL. No way. You either make it forward or you're out. It's true. Because you know what? Bonbon bon can comfort himself and say, Hey, I got as far as Slayer's boxer did this season. <laughs> it's not true. bad. It's true. Yep. Why do you keep bringing that up? Making me sad. I can't help. No, I know. I don't do it to <sighs> be mean. I do it because I'm trying to help you work through it. Uh huh. Work There's the, the five pain. stages of grief about boxing. You know what will help me work through the pain? What? A Terran versus Zerg on Crossfire SE. That's right. Let's get underway and see who is going to be the victor in game one of the next series. Coming right up in just a moment as I soon. continue to talk. Real soon. Until we get the cue. <laughs> 